Welcome to In the Spotlight with the Minnesota Magicians. I'm Jimmy Lillidall, Director of Media Relations and Broadcasting for the Minnesota Magicians. Uh, the expansion season has officially begun, already 11 games uh, deep into the season. Uh, we will check in with a recap of this last weekend's action as the Minnesota Magicians blasted the Cooley Region Chill last night here at Richfield Ice Arena. Uh, checking in uh, with some of the highlights. Uh, the first period, not a lot going on. Uh, nothing as far as, uh, as scoring. A couple of penalties. The Magicians able to outshoot the Chill 14-7 in that first period. Some pretty good energy. About 500 fans showing up here on a Sunday uh, to, to watch the boys play. So it was, it was a pretty good game. Uh, a lot of energy. Uh, again, that first period, no scoring. Uh, as we go on to the, uh, the second period, uh, there was plenty of scoring. Sam Wolf uh, had a power play goal for the Minnesota Magicians. Uh, Derek Kuchera. Uh, picking up the assists on that. Uh, first power play goal for the Magicians since the showcase, so a, a big goal for Sam Wolf as he nets his first as a member of the Minnesota Magicians. Uh, Derek Kuchera continues to pick up points. Uh, and then uh, the Chill were able to come back and even the, even the score at one. It was, uh, it was Jesse Tredenick uh, from Onalaska, Wisconsin, who put the goal in. Uh, that even the, the tilt at one, uh, one goal apiece. Uh, and then it was Nick Kuchera, who was uh, set up by Matt Colford. Uh, Matt Colford ab able to pick up uh, the left point and, uh, and take it all the way down the ice to set up uh, Nick Kuchera. It was actually a rebound. He kept his shot low, and uh, it was kicked out to the right side where, uh, where uh, Nick Kuchera got the goal. So Matt Colford picking up his first assist of the game. He did not stop there. Uh, and then the, the Magicians getting their third goal in the period uh, from the youngest member of, of, of the Magic, actually, Will Johnson, just a 96th birthday, uh, all the way from Santa Barbara, California. Uh, Will Johnson was set up uh, by Colin Hernan, uh, Pollock able to give the puck to Hernan, and then Hernan coming down the left side of the ice, able to uh, hook up Will Johnson on that right side. So Will Johnson gets his second goal as a member of the Minnesota Magicians, and, and that was the second period. It was a 3-1 score after two. Uh, and then in the third period, uh, the scoring continued. A big goal from Jordan Stayskull, the Grand Rapids native. Uh, Stayskull actually netting his first goal in his North American Hockey League career. Uh, he spent last season with the Brookings Blizzard, so a big goal for uh, Jordan Stayskull. 59 games it took him to get his first goal, but he got, the, uh, he got it off his back. Uh, a big goal from Jordan Stayskull. It was a great feed uh, by Nick Uglum. Uh, Nick Uglum behind the net. Didn't really look like he had an angle to get it to Stayskull, but Stayskull scores uh, from the far circle, and that made it 4-1, and that was not it. It was Matt Colford who had the last goal. Uh, Colford getting his third point of the game. Uh, it was a big shot from uh, uh, the big rookie, Joe Clevin, the biggest, uh, biggest rookie defenseman for the Minnesota Magicians, takes a, a big shot uh, from the far side. Everyone kind of scatters as Colford ends up putting the puck in from his knees, actually. Uh, so Colford gets his third point of the game. Uh, so the Magicians uh, end up picking up the 5-1 victory. Again, Matt Colford was the player of the game. Uh, three stars, uh, Jordan Stayskull. And uh, I believe it was uh, also uh, Will or Nick Kuchera in that, as Nick Kuchera had a couple of points. So a big night for the Minnesota Magicians. They continue to roll at home now, six and one uh, at home, uh, fifth out of the six teams in the Midwest Division. Uh, going over uh, some of the things that are going to be going on here uh, at the rink and some of the things that the Minnesota Magicians are doing uh, within the community. I was going to mention uh, the Lively Lifestyles program. This is a, a program you can call the office if, if you're interested. In. Uh, the, the magicians are going to be doing community visits uh, throughout the Richfield, Bloomington, Twin Cities area. Uh, if you're interested in that, uh, you can give us a call at 612-861-9356. Uh, at uh, real quick on the program, it's an opportunity for uh, if, if, if you're part of a, a school, if you're a teacher, if you want to have uh, the kids get an opportunity to meet the magicians. We kind of started out with uh, an introduction to the Minnesota Magicians hockey team, uh, Hockey 101, going over the game of hockey. Uh, not, nothing X's and O's, just kind of a brief, brief overview of the Minnesota Magicians. Uh, we go through healthy choices, which is making positive healthy choices, you know, uh, substituting, you know, a pop for an apple, that kind of thing. 
uh, you know, the importance of doing homework. We talk a little bit about anti-bullying as well, um, a question and answer opportunity for some of the kids that are wondering, you know, what the junior hockey process is about, uh, that kind of stuff. As an option, the players can read to uh, read to the kids as well. That's an option in there if. Uh, if, if that might be the route uh, that you're interested in going. And then also, uh, this is a 45 minute visit, and then each student uh, that gets spoken to will receive a ticket to an upcoming Magicians game. It's an opportunity for us to get into the community, get some of the youngsters out here uh, to, to see what we're doing uh, inside Richfield Ice Arena. Uh, some other things going on, uh, we do have some corporate partnerships that are still available. Uh, we've had uh, some pretty good feedback from the local businesses getting involved uh, with some of the board dashers, uh, buying corporate sections, that kind of stuff. If you're interested in doing that, you can give us a call at well, as well, 612-861-9356. Uh, and then some ticket packages are available as, as well. Uh, you can call the same number, 612-861-9356 if you're interested in doing in that. Uh, doing that and then I just wanted to touch a little bit on some of the youth programs that we're having if you're watching this and uh, you may have uh, a friend or a family member or someone you know that's involved in youth associations they can also contact the office line if, if they're interested in that uh, we've been uh, we've been working real closely with some of the youth associations giving out discounted tickets getting uh, the, some of the youth an opportunity to get in here see what we're all about uh, we've been doing some might uh, mic games in between the intermissions and that kind of stuff. Uh, so there's plenty of opportunities if you want to uh, get involved with the new expansion here. Again, it's been 13 years since there's been a junior hockey team here in the Twin Cities. Uh, so again, any, any information that, any, any other questions as well, you can call the office 612-861-9356. And uh, next weekend, a very big game. We'll highlight that a little bit. Uh, the Minnesota Magicians will take on the Fairbanks Ice Dogs, a very competitive team, uh, right around uh, 10 Division I commitments last season. Uh, the Fairbanks Ice Dogs, uh, Ice Dogs are actually first in the division, in the Midwest division, so that's going to be a good game. Uh, make sure you come out for that one. I think the puck drop is 7 o'clock on that one. Uh, so make sure you uh, continue to check out uh, magicianshockey.com for more information regarding uh, the new hockey club here. And uh, you can check out uh, the website, again, magicianshockey.com. Call the office, 612-861-9356. Uh, uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, uh, you can give us a call. Uh, that does it for the first ever edition of In the Spotlight with the Minnesota Magicians. So long, everybody.